guys, Mtech Guy here, and today we're going to take a look at changing out the SMG gear oil on the E60 M5. Now, if you've been following the channel recently, you'll have seen that I've recently changed out the differential oil and the SMG hydraulic fluid. So today we're looking at the SMG gear oil. Now, it's a good idea to get all these three jobs done at the same time. Now I've owned this car for nearly five years and I did this job just after I'd bought the car so they've all come round due about the same time again. I haven't done that many kilometres but on time, like I say, it's been about four and a half, five years so it'll be good to get that SMG gear all changed out in combination with that rear differential fluid and SMG hydraulic fluid that we've already done. Now I have put out a video previously on the process of changing out the SMG gear all. I put that out pretty much when I started this channel and it's come round you again this time around. Now to mix things up a bit, this time we'll be using a scan tool whereas the previous process was to show you how to do it without a scan tool. So the idea is the SMG has a oil cooler on the side of it with a small pump. So what we're going to do, we're going to drain the oil out and then we're going to use the scan tool to run that cooling pump to pump out the last little bit of oil that's in there. And then once I've got it all drained out, I'll clean out the filter We'll reassemble everything, we'll refill it with oil and then we'll use that pump just to refill all the cooling lines and the cooler and then just correct the level at the end. So we're essentially achieving the same thing as we did in the previous video. I'm just going to show you in this video how to do it with the use of a scan tool. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to need to get the job done today. So I've got three litres of gear oil here. This is the BMW MTF LT2, this is the correct gear oil for the SMG gearbox. Bought this direct from the local BMW dealer. And I've also got three crush washers here. There's one for the drain plug, one for the fill plug, and there's one also required for the SMG cooler strainer. And then to be able to get this new oil into the SMG gearbox, I'm also gonna be using my little hand pump here. This just screws directly onto the top of the bottles there. It's got a hose there and then I've also made up this small metal pipe with a little hook on the end just to be able to get it up inside the side of the gearbox there. Okay, so let's take a look at the steps required to get the job done. So the first step, we need to get the car up in the air, up on four axle stands, nice and level, so we can get underneath there and access the SMG gearbox and do make sure that the car is nice and level because you'll need that to get an accurate level reading when we refill the gearbox with the new fluid. Now, if you do need any information about jacking one of these cars up and getting it up on four axle stands, I have made a previous video on that one. I'll leave a link at the top of the screen there just to help you guys out should you need it. Now then, if we take a look under the car here, you'll see that the SMG gearbox is just covered with this fiberglass tray underneath there, so we need to remove that. There's a few screws around the perimeter of that thing. They take an eight mil socket. Right, so that's the cover out of the way, and now we can see the SMG gearbox hiding up there. So if we take a closer look here, now I'm looking from the right hand side of the car, that's the front of the car right there. Now that's the drain plug for the SMG. The fill plug is underneath the cooler here. So the cooler has to come out to gain access to the fill plug, and we do that by removing this Allen bolt here. And then if we take a look right here, that's the filter or the strainer for the cooler. That sits inside there. So to start off with, we're going to remove the drain plug and drain as much oil as we can out of the gearbox. That takes an 8 mil Allen. Right, so that's the gear oil just about drained off now, or what we can drain off at this stage. Now there will still be old oil remaining in these cooler lines and in the cooler itself. So to be able to push this out, what we're gonna do is just run the cooler pump temporarily using a scan tool, and that will just push the remaining oil out of there and it'll drain out of the drain plug opening. Now I'm using my Schwaben scan tool today. So I've got this one hooked up, the ignition's on. Now, initially you'd think this would be under a service function, but it's not, it's under the diagnostic menu. So now I'm down to active test there. 
Going to go to general, the transmission pump, not the hydraulic pump, the transmission oil pump. There we are, we're going to activate that one. There we go. That's all the oil completely drained out now. So now we can refit the drain plug with a new crush washer. You don't need to go mad tightening this up. All you're doing is compressing the aluminium crush washer. So next up, we can remove the pump strainer, which lives right here. And what we'll do is we'll give it a good clean up. This takes a 22 mil spanner. There we go. Now we'll give that a good clean up. So that's the strainer all cleaned up now. So now we can refit that with a new crush washer. Tighten it up. And again, you don't have to go mad. We're only compressing that small aluminium crush washer. And now we can get this cooler out of the way to gain access to the fill plug. So we need a 5mm Allen to undo this bolt right here. So that's the bolt out, and there's a wee spacer in there also. Undo the small electrical connector. Now the cooler is also held in place by two rubber mounts, one there and one at the rear of the cooler there. So what we need to do, just lift the cooler up slightly, and then when we're going to push the whole thing towards the rear of the car, and then just feed it out slowly. It is quite awkward to get out, but do be careful you don't damage any of the fins on the cooler in the process. Just take your time. Now this thing is quite heavy with the pump attached, so what I've done is I've just rest it on the upside down oil pan there just to take the weight off the hoses. You don't want to leave it dangling or you might end up damaging the hoses. Okay, so the fill plug lives right up here and it also takes an eight mil Allen. There's not much room in there. I'm just gonna use a quarter inch just because it's got the shorter length there. You might even be able to get an actual Allen key up there, but there's not much room between the tunnel and the gearbox itself, which is a little bit tight. So that will remove the fill plug. Give myself a bit of leverage here. And you want to feed it out with your fingers, not with the ratchet, because depending on the size of the ratchet, you might just end up snookering yourself. Make sure you remove the old crush washer. So now we can refill this with the new oil. So what I'm gonna do is get my pump set up and I'm gonna keep pumping until I see a thin stream of oil coming out the fill plug there. So that's your level indicator, the bottom of the fill plug. And then I'm gonna reinstall the fill plug with the old crush washer at this stage.
Right, so there we go. That's at the full level now. All right, so that's the gearbox filled up with new gear oil now, and it's at the correct level at the bottom of that fill plug opening. So what I've done now is I've refitted the fill plug just finger tight at this stage with the old crush washer because we need to run that cooler pump again just to fill up them cooler lines and the cooler itself. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna reduce the oil level slightly. So what we'll do is we'll plug the scan tool in again, we'll run the pump and then we can remove that fill plug and just check the level again and it will probably require just a little top up. So to be able to run the pump, what we first need to do is reconnect that electrical connector and then we'll plug in the scan tool and give it another run. Give it another go, just for good measure. So now we can just recheck that level and top it up as required. There we go. Now we can refit that drain plug with the new crush washer. Tighten her up. And as you can see, we've created a little bit of a mess here. So what I'll do is I'll just give this a squirt down with some brake clean, just to clean things up before we start reassembling everything. Now we can refit the cooler back into position. You've got this piece here that goes in the rubber mount right there. And then you've got the piece here that goes in the rubber mount right there. Refit the mounting bolt and the spacer. Plug in the electrical connector for the pump. Right, that's the SMG gearbox filled with the gear oil to the correct level the pump's been primed everything's reassembled so just the last thing to do is refit the under tray and then we're done and that's the under tray back in position and everything buttoned up here we have the old oil it is looking pretty dirty and i didn't do that many kilometers on it either so it's definitely worth getting this job taken care of if we take a look at some of the new oil and some of the old oil. You can definitely see a difference there. Quite a big difference. Good job to get done. All right, guys, there we have it. That's the SMG gear all changed out using a scan tool this time around. If you want to see the process of doing it without a scan tool, if you don't have one, it can still be done quite easily. I'll leave a link at the end of this video to that previous video that I made. Now, if you found the video interesting or useful, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW E60 M5 DIY videos. Consider subscribing if that's your cup of tea. I'm M Tech Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.